If you are looking for a dump trailer, the choices are seemingly endless. In fact, half of the brands out there have the word or some variation of the word Texas in the name. So what gives, you know, what's the difference between dump trailers? Today, we're gonna set the record straight. We're gonna show you why the dump trailer that's offered by Diamond C, which is their LPD model or low pro dump, is the best trailer for the money on the market. So Diamond C's low pro dump trailer features some serious standard features that is always an upgrade on all of the other competitors out there. For example, 10 gauge body, floor and walls. A lot of these companies will mention that they do a 10 gauge floor. They don't seem to mention the walls because it's not standard, you have to upgrade to it. Uh, Diamond C also does offer a seven gauge body upgrade option, that's up to you. Now the bumper pull model that we feature here is also available in a gooseneck and the tongue box in the front, which has your battery, your 12 volt deep cycle battery, uh, which also features a charger on the side, can be upgraded to a heavy duty tongue box as well. Now going back to the sides of the trailer, you'll notice a massive four inch top wrap. And that's not that big of a difference. In fact, I'm gonna mention a few things here that in and of themselves, individually, it's not that big of a deal. But if you look at the entire package, it overall makes up and compensates for a much better built trailer than the other. So a four inch top wrap, what does that mean? Everybody else has a two inch top wrap that allows Diamond C to put massive side posts and massive gussets on their trailer. So if you compare this to the other ones out there, you're gonna see a big time difference. Now there's a tarp rail that runs down the side. We always include tarp kits as standard. A lot of the competitors will include a tarp kit for an additional cost. They try to keep their base price low and they add on these little things here and there. By the time you know it, you're much higher than our stuff. That's all standard anyway, including a tarp kit. The last thing I'll mention about the sides on this particular trailer or any of the dump trailers in the Diamond C series is that you can add extended sides as an aftermarket bolt-on type of accessory or you can take a look at one of our trailers that we stock with 44 inch sides, for example. You can go 32 inch or 44 inch sides. Now, the cautionary thing here is that if you've got 44 inch sides and you're loading sand or gravel or rock or cement, uh, you are going to be overloading that trailer if they're tandem sevens underneath the axles. So be cautious of that. If you're hauling garbage and trash and all sorts of debris, the extended sides are a great idea. But if you're gonna extend those sides, you just have to be cautious on how much weight you're gonna be adding to that trailer. In terms of axles and tires, we mentioned the 7,000 pound tandem axles. You can go to triple 7,000 pound axles. You can even go to tandem 8,000 pound axles or tandem 10,000 pound axles. Now the tires that you see here are 16 inch 10 ply radials. One upgrade that we love to do, because if you've had other trailers, other dump trailers specifically, tires are always an issue. So you can upgrade to 17 and a half inch tires, 14 ply, uh, and you could also go to that larger axle if you like. So if you prefer to have tandem sevens to keep you under the DOT uh, regulations for CDL, uh, then you can go to tandem sevens or tandem eights even, you know, a lot of times. Um, you can go to the 17 and a half inch tires as an upgrade. You'll see that featured on some of our stock trailers. Now, in terms of the hoist mechanism, there's a couple of options here. And what you'll see out there a lot of times is a dual cylinder push. Now, the problem that I have with a dual cylinder push is that if one of those cylinders fails, that dump trailer is gonna be lopsided. You can talk about frame tweaks. You can talk about the entire load of your dump falling over to the side. We always, in this class of trailer, in your heavy duty model or heavy duty series, we always recommend a scissor lift. Now the difference in the scissor lift that Diamond C features, again, as standard, is it's got a six inch bore cylinder. Most other companies are a five inch bore cylinder. Now what does that mean? The cylinder itself is an inch wider. In and of itself, again, that's not that big of a deal because the scissor lifts out there that are on the market are all rated for the 14,000 uh, pounds that the capacity states that they are. But if it's the same money or even better yet, if it's less money to go to a six inch bore cylinder versus a five inch bore cylinder, what would you wanna do? I'd go to the six. Another important feature here is the I-beam frame. Now that actually is what makes it a low pro version. It sits a little bit lower than your traditional and standard C channel frame system that you see out there. What's the difference between C-channel and I-beam? You can certainly argue that the I-beam is gonna be stronger as compared to a C-channel, but the largest difference for us 
is that you can actually sit a little bit lower in the dump box and that comes in handy when you're going to load and unload a bobcat into the back of the dump trailer. Now in the back of the dump trailer there are four D-rings that are situated so you can strap or chain and binder down your machinery if you're going to take that from site to site. Underneath the trailer in the rear you've got slide in ramps. Those are going to remove out and there's a piece of angle iron on the back of the dump trailer that you can hang those on. Uh, of course you've got your three-way gate again standard that it's uh, not an uh, optional or upgraded feature. That's something we do as standard. The jack in the very front comes standard as a 7,000 pound jack. We will oftentimes upgrade that to a 12,000 pound jack for you. Diamond C recently went to a powder coat system, whereas they used to have a DuPont paint system. Now there are good paint systems, good powder coat, bad paint, bad powder coat. So it depends on the company, it depends on their process and how they're applying this to their trailers. The colors don't change the price unless you go to a premium style color, uh, but we often will stock this in multiple, an array of different colors. Uh, so depending on what you like, you know, you can always do that. We'd like to think that Diamond C builds one of the best trailers out there. And hopefully after seeing this video, you'll agree with that statement. If you like what you've seen here, like, share, subscribe, and hit the bell at the top of the YouTube button. Follow us. We're going to be coming out with some new content here in the future.